Quick update on Project Fiesta, I'm going to keep to this side and show you when the wheels are on all together. So I've been doing a bit of work. I did have some black spray which stopped working, I managed to get some of it done. So I've done these struts, inner liners, I've done the edges just to keep them. They're probably mainly uh, fiberglass up there. But the main parts of the chassis, spare wheel back on because it didn't have one. So that's back into place. And I've coated all the usual bits back axle believe it or not the back axle on these fiestas are solid the ones that followed they had massive problems with holes starting here but this is like brand new this covered that i should have done it before and after i just didn't have time done done the usual bits which go here brand new tank all the brake lines have been done the usual bits on the chassis they normally go up here it's actually in really good condition i mean i should have shown you this beforehand but it, it is in good nick but m more more importantly are these sills, I was expecting to find patchwork galore. But they're original sills. I'm gonna I've bought some more white stone chip just to give them another tidy up. And this one here. This is just all a bit extra coat and I've put on. But the more better surprise on this van is at the front. This subframe, this front subframe is great. As it's just there's no rust on it. I haven't even sprayed this black. This is just how it is. Out the box. Gearbox, completely dry, no leaks. Engine, completely dry. I had some of this black uh, uh, hammerite paint here, satin black, I just give it a little spray before, but genuinely it was still black, not rusty. So I've sprayed the sump. You look at the starter motor, the gearbox, there's just no leaks anywhere. All the front end, the main body of it, these normally rot out, these front like crash bars. This was a little bit crusty, the radiator I support, but it's only on by two 10 mil bolts but i've coated that just to give it a bit more lease of life but uh yeah there's just no leaks or nothing i can't believe it i was just saying last night i parked this thing on my drive and normally nothing else gets on there because they have little weeps and leaks so yeah it's in great nick all the main chassis not not even any i think there's one patch i found on the whole van weirdly there and that's not really testable because it's not within 30 centimetres of a structural point. Hasn't got a tow bar on. And with it being a van, I was just having the discussion with my dad before. Oh, I'll keep it this side. I don't want to show the wheels. Um, since it hasn't got seatbelts in the back, no back seats, there's a lot of grey areas around the floor uh, at the back. Because as long as it's not within 30 centimetres of these axle points or these shotters, it's, uh, there's quite a few grey areas with it being a van. But yeah, that's it all done. I've just, like I said, I'm getting the, the tyres and wheels put on, which I'll show you once the van's on the floor uh, and off the lift, because I want it off for tomorrow. But yeah, I, I'm really, really happy with it. I think what I'll do with this one is find... I've already ordered some cavity um, wax, so I'm going to inject it into the sills uh, in the back axle in these tubular areas. And in these kind of main chassis runs, I think that's going to be the best way forward with these because they generally rot from the inside out. New front arms and ball joints and bushes. Discs are actually in really good condition and they cost pennies. Uh, pads are good, no tight calipers. Like I've said, new arms, new drop links, new front springs. The shockers have recently uh, been replaced. Brand new rear shockers and springs. There's a little tiny bit of play on that bearing at that side. For the, what the cost, I will just replace it. And there's a slight bearing noise at the front. And I'm convinced nearly now I've done a few miles in it. It's this offside front. But it's not that bad. Um, I'll do that just as and when we get time. But yeah, it's, it's not really a bad buy whatsoever. Uh, especially now I've got these wheels and I've tidied it, tidied it up. And I don't even think I've featured it yet fully down on the floor and cleaned i've cleaned the inside i've cleaned the outside polished it as best as a van can be polished uh, so i'll tell you what we'll do get the wheels on get it off the lift and i'll get it out round the back and i'll do a quick walk around video and let us know what you think because i'll keep forgetting i've done little features of this in the um in the weekly vlog but i haven't actually introduced it yet so i'm just trying to not get mixed up on my videos so i'll end this one here and i'll do another one when it's sorted I've just got to put this on the channel. I cannot believe what I've just discovered in the scrapyard. An earlier van, XBT van, than mine. S Reg. The chances of that are absolutely nil. 
and it's actually not in bad condition either. It's a pre-facelift one, the shovel nose. It's got the... I think somebody's upgraded this interior. I can't... That must have 122,000 on. But it's got the black, the back seat conversion in it. Had to just add that bit in there because what are the chances of that? None. Next to none. I just had to get this on video. Two Fiesta vans parked side by side. Obviously, mine's the facelift. That's the pre-facelift. XBT van, S-Reg. Can't wait to get the new wheels on. Lovely. Chances of that are next to none. Just had to add that bit in. But this one is actually not bad. The, boot, the boot's well gone. I would have been tempted to get that. But, uh, yeah, XBT. I do like that shape front, I've got to admit. So, yeah. Spot on. Made my day, that has. Definitely made my day. Right, well, there we go. Straight to the point. I think that looks a damn sight better with those wheels on. I really do like those wheels anyways. Like, just as a general in my top sort of 10 of alloy wheels always like those Puma alloys so naturally as you've seen it's a hell of a lot different to what it was when I did my introduction video I've given it a full polish it's brought it up okay looks good from a distance ain't gonna be no show vehicle still need to get a Ford badge from the front debating whether I just leave that actually because it doesn't really bother us that much I've used the G G Tech C4 on the bumpers the permanent uh, sealer on them to make them come back to the right colour as well as on the mirrors and I've used it on a few other various bits I'll show you but we'll just have a quick walk round as you've seen I've done all that work underneath uh, giving it a bit of protection looks alright doesn't it uh, I've been around got a white touch up pen I mean, I'm not going to lie to you as things haven't disappeared you know I've just dulled these little chips down tea, I've, what I've done is I've touched them in and I'm going to go along with some tea cut when I get some more time and just get those orange scabbing bits off around it. Like I've said, it's just not perfect. It's no work of art by far. But that's not what this vehicle is about. It's going to be a usable vehicle for the business, for myself, taking the dogs. And I think their wheels have definitely tidied it up no end. Around the back, obviously I've cleaned all the windows and that. Like I've showed you, I've used the, that C4 trim uh, treatment on everything and it's brought everything up lovely, even the roof. I've done all sorts of bits and bobs on it, but mainly just a, a, a quick wash, and it's sorted. I've said I've put this on here, it might look a bit unsightly, this black wax oil round, just to let it cure, and then I'm going to put another coating on, just a little bit there that I need to rub off, just while it's still wet. I've done, the reason it's like this is because I've just been uh, spraying a bit of seal on the wheels, and it's just caught that. But yeah, I'm personally over the moon with it. The only bit of concern is the edge on this tyre is getting a bit worn, but I'm an MOT tester and I know the centre section is well above 1.6 mil. it's above the markers, and these sections, the two outer and inner sections, are not even part of the test, it's not testable. As long as there's no cords or ply shown, this can be completely invalid, no tread on it whatsoever, bald, and it would still be a passing advice. But anyways, we'll get a few miles on the van first, and for the sake of a tyre, I might just uh, put one on. But all the other ones are brand new, front ones, the one at the other side's as good as new. So I've got my little goodie bag in the back, which we'll go through, but I'm going to do to it. Just open it. Oh, sorry, I forgot this. I had a little uh, road trip yesterday in it. Um... And somebody was giving this away for free. These are worth about £120. Boot buddy, some of the letters have come off. Uh, Holly's got one in her car. So it's perfect for the dogs. So I've got a few mats down just for the general mess. And this is perfect because it stops the dogs from getting through the centre of the seats. And it mainly stops a bit of the load of the mess getting into the front as well. So I've got that down. Rubber mat here. I've touched in a few bits around there where paint had chipped off. Cleaned all the interior out the side like blackened and panels. I wanted to sort some up with this because somebody hasn't bothered wiring the um, the electrics in for the boot. 
but the only electrics I can see is the rear white band, the heated rear screen, neither of which I'll probably use. Can't, it hasn't got a rear view mirror anyways. Um, which, on that note, I've ordered a one, a, 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 a suction cup one, just a temp we want to put on. Because I've got that, I might as well have one if there's a window. Uh, so right, set of white bars, as you know, but like I've shown you, they're Bosch anyway. So I'm reluctant to get rid of them, but they're not wiping the best, I have to admit. Um, white stone chip. Two cans of it, because I'm just going to redo along the bottom edge of those sills, as you've seen when it was on the lift. And to the usual, right, white bars, as I've said. Pollen filter, we're going to do that if it's got one. The very expensive air filter of 75p, uh, which I may as well just change. And we might as well do an oil and filter change while we're on. And this thing's got such a big oil filter on it. Uh, there we go. That bad boy. So... I think with this, I'm going to use some kind of semi-synthetic 530 on it. It might be a little bit too thin, this new modern oil for these old school engines. Probably be all right, actually. Um, and I've just got a bit of this stuff I had sitting on from ages ago. It's like injector cleaner, fuel conditioner, the upper cylinder lubricant. Just stick that in. You can run these things on anything you want. I'm not going to use it in probably any anything else. So, so that's my little goodie bag there. It's just started to rain, so this is going to be quick. I don't want it getting wet because I've just put some stuff I've cleaned the inside out as you can see it's a lot more presentable in here now I've put some mats down which are dirty but I have cleaned it managed to just about get that stain out move the moon with this I'll jump in because uh, typically had to paint clean most of the mess off the dashboard and it's now quite a nice place to be just need to get a set of door cards happy days obviously underneath this I have cleaned all the carpets they are skanky mats, but I just figured I might as well put them down. I've got them. Hopefully I get lucky on some scratch cards as well. I don't often get them, but I got some today. Uh, but yeah, I've cleaned all out down the, down the middle there. But yeah, I'm over the moon with this thing. It, uh, it is absolutely great. Starts on the button. Great little driver. I've done quite a few miles in there. I've probably done about 100 miles in this already. And it drives faultlessly. Not a knock, a bang, a rattle. It's never hiccuped nothing. 110,000 mile absolutely perfect and it hardly uses any fuel at all great radio believe it or not a really good quality radio the sound i'm meaning and the radio reception is fantastic as well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull into the garage and then end this video because it's starting to rain so yeah i'm going to end that one there i just thought i would do a bit of an update uh showing obviously what i've done and all the rest of it i think it's gone quite quite well i'm over the moon of how far how it's how far i've come and i've done quite a little it's not much work to it so i'll get the servicing done that's going to help no end and um, i'm going to do the gearbox oil as well and it's a happy little user it's not a great deal of work and that's exactly what i was hoping that it wasn't going to be a wreck or a write-off i've had some cavity wax which is coming in the post uh, the fuel filter my suppliers couldn't manage to do a decent enough price uh, so i've got one coming off ebay for that that's the only thing that was missing there, by the way. So there's an oil filter, air filter, pollen filter, and the fuel filter is coming in the post. So yeah, we'll leave that there. I just thought I would add a little bit of an update onto Project Fiesta Van. I'll catch you next time, guys. Please remember, if you haven't already done so, hit the like, leave a comment, let us know what you think. And if you want, please hit the subscribe. It's only 20% only of, my, of my viewers are actually subscribed. I'll catch you next time. Bye.